Joining me now from London is Saidi Bilan, who is a senior lecturer at the University of Sunderland. Saidi, good to speak to you this evening. Um, there's been numerous leaders as well as top diplomats weighing in on the situation. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, said that it's important that there's a peaceful resolution. Anthony Blinken, the U.S. Secretary of State, is saying that there is still space for diplomacy. Yet, the junta in Niger is is upping the, the ante. I mean, uh, high treason is how they're going to be charging uh, Mohamed Bazoum. Do you feel that, uh, that any outside leader can have a real impact on the turmoil? I think it will be very difficult because what they have accused him uh, of is very, very, uh, is uh, very important, you know. Uh, the fact that he's invited, he has invited, you know, external forces to intervene in the country, and also, uh, if you look at this prime minister and himself, I think through telephone conversation, conversations, he has many times invited, you know, foreign forces to come and invade the country. So that is uh, condemned by the constitution. So this is a constitutionally, you know, this will be a problem. I think the military is really decided, you know, to. To, uh, to, 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 to apply this, uh, this law. Okay, so if he's going to be charged on, on charges of, of high treason, what's going to be happening with this, uh, this standby force that's been acted by ECOWAS? Do you feel that they will move? I think that will be also very difficult because if you look at all the state members, you know, the population are uh, against this uh, military intervention. And the biggest uh, contributor will, will be Nigeria, which... Uh, has more than 1,500 1, kilometers you know, borders with Niger. And the people from Niger and the, that part, the northern part of Nigeria are the same. You know, the Hausa people, Fulani, and all are opposed to the military uh, intervention. So it will be really difficult. I don't think that will be uh, something which they can just apply. Um, so you don't expect the standby force to be, to be activated. Uh, Important meetings coming up in, in Ghana later on Thursday. Uh, what do you think could come out? I think what may happen, you know, uh, because they, they, they ask the military to reinstate Bazoum, President Bazoum, which, which is uh, almost impossible. But what they may agree on would be to uh, go for constitutional law, you know, to restore uh, the, the constitutional, uh, the rule of law, which is, I think, feasible. So if for example, the military has been given, I don't know, nine months transition or one year or two years. They will be able to go back you know, to the rule of law, to a democracy. But reinstating uh, President Bazoum will be almost impossible. Okay. Saadi Bilan, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. Do appreciate it.